Hey all you engines out there, welcome back to DIY and that. I have a quick project here for us. Um, I wanted to make a rack for the back of the pickup truck so I could uh, carry some uh, longer pieces of lumber without having them stick out over the tailgate. I priced out some uh, commercially made ones made out of metal and they were running about 250 and uh, even with the grotesque price of lumber nowadays I wasn't, uh, it was still cheaper to uh, fab one up out of uh, wood and um, I've done this before on a previous truck so it worked out pretty good so let's go through and show you how what I did with this so I cut four uprights um, for the post and notched them to go down into the stake pockets of the truck mine were about two and three quarters by an inch and a half that might be typical I'm not sure you'll have to check your truck but in any event you'll need to notch four posts out so they slide down into the holes. Here's another shot of it showing the uh, the notch from a different direction here and then I went ahead and just shoved them down into the uh, slots and here you can see a fat old bastard trying to get his sorry ass up on top of a truck. Used to practically leap up there when I was younger but now it's kind of a struggle. I guess some of us, uh, some of you watching may be in the same situation. Um, as I said, what I do is I put the four posts up and I'm going to uh, take some clamps here and mock up where I want the cross pieces to go over to uh, get them in the right spot. Now, um, the only real consideration here was that I wanted to make sure that uh, Somebody behind me could continue to see the uh, the uh, center stoplight there up on the cab. So I had to adjust this until that was um, where I wanted it. And you can see here I uh, can't use a level here because the truck may not be level on the ground. And so you have to uh, measure up from the bed of the truck. See where you want to put them and I uh, stepped back and uh, took a look at this in a couple of spots to uh, make sure that uh, it looked like it uh, looked in, it looked like it was in the right place and again cleared the lights. Here I'm checking to make sure that the uh, pieces that go the long ways, the rails there, are uh, where I want them and then I am checking the ends to make sure that they're sticking out um, just about the same on each end I left them overhanging so that it would be easier to uh, tie a rope or a bungee cord or what have you around the uh, around the ends once you were putting a piece of lumber or whatever up there to uh, bring it home. So I just kept checking back and forth, making sure everything was good. Checked it several times. Made a few adjustments here and there. And here I am double checking the height, make sure that I hadn't disturbed anything while I was uh, moving that back and forth. And I marked with a pencil where they go so that uh, when I take that off there to finish the drilling, I don't have to uh, guess and do go through all that to put all that back together. And one more check to make sure, visually check to make sure it looks right. Um, the bed of the truck might not be perfectly square to the cab so I want to make sure that it looks like it's uh, parallel to the cab on the top and here I am I'm going to drill through the uh, both pieces to put a bolt through the bolts I used are a quarter inch by um, in this case uh, five and a half that's enough to go through the uh, both pieces there you got an inch and a half for the cross piece and three and a half for the uh, the upright and then a half inch to put the nut on. So I'm just drilling through both pieces here. And I'll go to the other side. And the drill bit was not long enough to go all the way through both pieces in one shot. So what I did was, once I had that done, I uh, took off the clamps and let that down and then finish drilling through the all the way through the uprights. My intention was to put wing nuts on the uh, ends of the bolts so that 
if I needed to take the thing apart and I wasn't home and didn't have access to tools, I'd be able to do so. But um, what happened was I uh, bought the wrong size. The They were in a bin at the store marked quarter inch. And when I actually went to install them, I found out that the they were not quarter inch, they appear to be five sixteenths. Um, there is no mark on the package at all, so I guess they just put them in the wrong bins to um, when they stocked them on the shelves. So I'll have to come back and put them in. Uh, most likely I will forget, and then when I need to take the thing apart, I'll be cursing the blue streak. But um, actually, I thought I figured I'd forget, so I put a wrench <laughs> of the appropriate size inside the uh, inside the cab. And uh, fortunately I had some quarter inch nuts in stock and I just used them to, uh, to assemble it. And here I just took a square and checked that it was a square to the, uh, the bed of the truck and just shoved them around a little bit and make sure that they are where I want them. And once I put the, uh, the longitudinal piece on there that will uh, put them in there and make sure that they're uh, straight up and down and here I just did the same thing with the other end I uh, went ahead and clamped that on there measured it up checking the measurements several times to get that where I wanted have the same distance above the post and below the post uh, below the I'm sorry above the uh, cross piece as I did on the other end I went ahead and drilled it and uh, So here I am putting the uh, long pieces on, laid them up on top of there, clamped them up, checked the uh, overhang a couple times. I'm also checking the, uh, make sure the posts are uh, square to the bed, and then go, go ahead and drill through there using uh, three and a half inch bolts in this case because I only have to go through uh, the two thicknesses of the two by four, so that's a total of three inches, and just tightening them up. And then I'll go to the, uh, once that side's done, I'll go to the other side and uh, take care of that as well. Here I stepped on the tray of nuts, which I should not have left laying on the floor, so I had to stop and uh, pick them up. The, uh, so the inevitable happened as expected. That's what it looked like when it was finished. I should mention I uh, obviously painted that. I used one coat of primer on it and one coat of top coat. You can obviously paint it whatever color you want. I had red laying around. I didn't want to paint it black. I thought it looked better red, so I went ahead and did the red. Uh, it probably really could have used two coats, but um, I had to go pick up some lumber. And uh, I really needed the rack, so I left it uh, I left it with the one coat. If it chips off and uh, looks crappy after a while, I'll just take it off the truck and uh, give another coat of paint. So here's the list of materials that we used in the cost. Ended up being about 80 bucks total. I used regular framing lumber. There was no particular reason to use uh, pressure treated, although you could do so if you wanted to, and then you wouldn't have to finish it. The uh, I used uh, Kills Primer and Rust-Oleum uh, for the paint. The uh, Kills Primer is 12 bucks for a uh, quart, but uh, you may just want to buy a gallon if you're doing a lot of projects because that's only $22, so, uh, and I've actually seen it for less than that sometimes, so it's probably not worth buying a quart. Uh, only thing on here I didn't mention was that the, um, the Rust-Oleum is an oil-based paint, so you'll need some uh, 
uh, mineral spirits or paint thinner to clean the brush off afterwards unless you want to just use a disposable brush. So we ended up spending, um, excuse me, saving at least 170 bucks over a commercial rack. Nothing exotic in the way of tools, measuring tape, pencil, square, circular saw, um, and a hand saw to finish off those notches, or you could just use a hand saw to do the whole thing. A drill, a 5 16th inch, 5 16th inch bit, um, a pliers if you're going to use the wing nuts or appropriate wrench if you're going to use hex nuts, sandpaper, and paintbrush. As far as the time spent, it was about a half hour to measure and cut everything another half hour for painting and it took two and a half hours to put it together so about three and a half hours total so i hope you enjoyed that i uh, hope you found it helpful and as always thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time bye bye